See, I gotta learn the learn the ropes. Yeah, <laughs> that's all good. Shit, just to show the learning on, cause shit. Y'all know if you've been on this. My bad, y'all. My lips a little chap. I'm gonna make sure I put this Carmax on here. Y'all be talking shit later. That's funny. <laughs> and I will use the white boy equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> Good old chapstick. Hell yeah. I run like three of these through my laundry every week. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if I had chapstick, though, I'm, I'm cool with I would rather have chapstick. It's less it's not not messy. We got Vaseline at home. Yeah, Vaseline works. I got the backup. Yeah, Vaseline <laughs> definitely shit. works amazing. It just makes my lips look too a little too moisturized. Right. You but got it, on glasses? I want to wear glasses and shit. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, they in the car. Never mind. I ain't doing that. These nothing. are my... Um, uh, Star Wars Disneyland glasses when I forgot my yeah. sunglasses going to Disneyland. Yeah, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Dude, I, got sen I don't know what it is. I got sensitive eyes. That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. Motivate. Born in the struggle like nobody take. That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. I chill with unity, smile at the real, but the ones that was haters will never be granted immunity. Work with the willing, but who I kept slacking and sinking this shit, it ain't new to me. I'm living this life, keep my mind in the sky, I'm Achilles the guy when I motivate. So tell me who motivates. Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jess B. And welcome back to the Jess B Show. You know, I, I was just telling my boy JT, I was like, hey, I want to I wanna say the episode, but I never remember which episode I am on. Hey, first lesson I want to give y'all today is... Be organized so you can remember things and don't get old and I ain't even old all the way and be forgetting shit. Hey, man. But besides that, I want y'all to give my homeboy a big ass, a big ass, dope ass welcome. JT Hernandez, man. Welcome to the show, brother. My How you man. been feeling, man? Oh, dude, I'm feeling great. Yeah. Uh, especially because we've been trying to link up for way too long Man, now, and man. We're finally, finally, finally yeah. getting to meet face to face <laughs> after months and months of me flaking yeah. on him, we're flaking on each other. And... Yeah, man, we had a whole bunch of miscommunication type of situations, but the best part is, is like he said, he's here. He's here, man. So welcome to the show, man. Thank you, You sir. already Thank know you, what we're going to rock with, man. We're going to talk about self-love. We're going to talk about unity. And we definitely going to talk about progression. Okay. Then we got to motivate the people. Let's do you it. feel me? Yeah. And we're just going to have a dope conversation. So first of all, let me give you your flowers for even being patient enough to even still make it work and get here. Whether it was on your part, my team's part, my part, it doesn't matter. We still, you're still here. You pulled up. Hell yeah, man. Hell no, yeah. I'm That's glad I came through, That's what I'm talking man. about, man. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking That's about, That's why man. they say better late than never. You I'm know what I you. mean? Hey. hey, cheers to that. Right? Hey, I, I got... I'm not going anywhere. I live in this city, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, you know, I figured I'd meet you eventually, right. my dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's super cool. Now, you said you live in this city, man, but I get vibes that you're from somewhere else, man. Yes, how, sir. How, how long? You from here? No. No, no, no. I've I've only been here for four years. About okay. four years now. Uh, relocated from the Bay Area. So I'm oh, from the oh, Bay. Oh shit. You from yep. Bay Area. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, you know what it is. <laughs> That's cool, yes, man. Sir. So how was the transition coming? I mean, damn, you came from the Bay, bro. Yeah. How was yeah. the transition coming from the Bay to Vegas? Well, uh, a lot less water out here. <laughs> Definitely. That's gonna be the first thing I'll say, right. you know. And the water nasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's been cool, man. You know, uh, you know, we looked at a lot of different places that we wanted to relocate to. Okay, okay. Uh, we looked at Southern California, Oregon, mm -hmm. Washington, Hawaii even. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and when it came down to we wanted something that was, you know, affordable, uh, but still had a nice little city and nightlife right. at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what that's Las Vegas, Vegas offers. Sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you know, Los Angeles would have been great. You know, still been by the water. Right. But I would have probably been living in like a, a cardboard box for like $1,000 <laughs> a month or something. Right, because shit you know so uh we we felt like you know this was the right place and, and transition wise it hasn't been too bad man i right. say the one thing that kicks my butt to this day after four years i did extensive research on this place extensive research okay, okay. you know everything my the, type of guy all this stuff dude weather rent one thing i didn't check on was like i guess i should have known going up so much in elevation uh -huh. like dude my allergies are just Whooped, dude. Yes. Whooped, dude. Yes. Left and yes. right, dude. I chew all damn day. Did oh my god. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing sunglasses, cause right. chances are I'm probably gotten I got watery eyes yeah. underneath and these glasses. And then all this dust that's being kicked up oh, yeah. constantly. 
Yep, you know, because we live in a bowl, I guess. You know? I swear, I found it's that a melting out. pot, literally. Yeah, so it's like all the dirt and dust yeah. just kind of does like a whirlwind it just, around. Yeah, it circulates. And, just whoop, whoop. Right up these whoop. nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's cool, man. So, music, bro. You're into music, yes, right? Sir. You, you Rap? Yes, sir. You rap? Yeah, yeah. You, so you start, you st- I mean, let's, let's talk about it, bro. Like, where did you start with the music? Was it in the Bay? Uh, it was in the Bay, yeah, okay. man. I, I'm, um, um. Uh, by rap standards, you okay. know, I like to say we're old men. I'm 31 years old, so by rap standards, I'm old, but back to the better late than never. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. I can make it as a 55, 60 year old rapper and be popular in nursing homes, and I'll be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever works. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so I started rapping um, kind of like you, you know, when you okay. told me you had started doing poetry and stuff. Yeah, that's how you yeah. began. I wrote poetry when I was in like sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Uh, and then, you know, it's going to sound funny out of nowhere, just started turning these uh, poems mm-hmm. into songs. Makes sense. But I had no desire to rap. I had friends right, around right. me that rapped like, dude, come on, I got a studio at home. Let me yeah, get, let me yeah, hear you yeah. drop some stuff. Right. And I was like, no, I don't want to do Not it, good, dude. I just kind of write it for fun. Uh, and then one day I was just hanging out with my friend at a home studio. We were like 15 years old. And uh-huh. he was like, bro, I know you wrote this poem to this beat. And here's the beat. You're going to have to rap to it. And so I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. All right. Uh, all right. And, and it was, you know, like they say in the movies, like love at first sight. Uh, I stepped on the yeah. mic, recorded, and I was like, what are these butterfly feelings? Like, yeah, it's, what is yeah. this excitement that I'm yeah. feeling? You, you, you know what? You you jumped out of your comfort zone. Yeah, got yeah. uncomfortable, yep. and then fell in love with the uncomfortable feeling. Straight up, dude. That's yeah. dope. One hundred percent. It was just like. I need to keep doing this. Wow. And then I just, so basically I recorded one song in the studio that day. Okay. And I was like, listen, MySpace days, for all you youngsters, MySpace hey, days Monsters. back in the day. Hey, my background <laughs> music was popping. <laughs> so, so, you know, I was like, hey, we're going to record this song. We'll throw it on MySpace. If people say I'm okay, then mm-hmm. hey, we'll continue it. If they right. if they trash me, I'm done. Okay, fair, uh, fair. And luckily, everyone was like, "Hey, you know what? You're not so bad, man. You maybe should keep trying." So I was okay. like, "Okay, we'll we'll continue doing right. it." Right. Uh, and you know, here we are, about 16 years later, man. 16 years later. So within that 16 year time frame, at what point were you like? Man, I want to take this shit to the next level. I really want to continue to do this. You want to know something funny? Hell yeah. Wait. Uh, so I, I knew that I wanted to continue rapping. Okay. Um, you know, early on. Mm-hmm. But I didn't realize that I can really take this stuff to the next level mm-hmm. until about last year. Last year? So, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I like to consider myself, you know, it's not nothing set in stone yet. Mm-hmm. But confidence is up. I'll be a late bloomer, right. you know, a late bloomer. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you know, I, I and like you had mentioned, we were talking earlier before we started recording and stuff. It's right. like, hey, you know yeah. what? I am not upset by any of that. It was all just a journey. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and maybe I'll get to the finish line a little bit later, but as long as I get to the finish line, I'm a happy right. man. You right. know what I mean? You know, what, hey, what Nipsey say, man? It, it's not a race. It's a marathon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. And, and that's real. Because it's a lifelong thing. It, it, and I feel like everybody's definition of success, of making it, is each and is each to own. Yep. You know what I mean? 100%. So it's like, I feel like success is a lifelong journey. Can you really get to it? It depends on what you know you, because what your when you, finish line yeah, is, I guess. Because when you get there, what do you do? You up it. It's ah, an ante up. Yeah. And now you have a new goal you're trying to get to. So can you, you guys tell me, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Can you really get to success or is it always going to be a one up? Like I need, okay, now I need to do this. Now I need to do this. As long as you maintain that hunger, you know, that's a good point, man. Because I I think some of us might be complacent and like, hey, once I reach a certain goal or something, hey, I'm cool just staying there. But yeah, the the real winners in life keep that hunger and that fire lit. Right. So yeah, dude, I, I agree with that. When it comes to those kind of people, they're never satisfied and right. they keep working for the next thing. And those are your most successful people right. in life, I think, Big man. facts, big facts, man. So let's get back to the music, man. So you said you started in the Bay. Yes, sir. Boom, the homie finally convinced you, hey, JT, get on this damn track, bro. What the, what the fuck? And he jumped on, fell in love with it. Yeah. That's amazing, by the way. Appreciate That's dope. That. That's a dope story, man. Thank you. Then you realize a year ago, you know what? I could take this somewhere. Let me see how many bags I can collect. Let me let me really let me really take this head on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, like for me, what happened was, you know, like 
it's been an up and down journey, you know right, what I mean? Right. Which a lot of people's journeys, you know, a lot of people can relate to that. Um, but I went through a lot of uh, changes in my life, especially okay. in the last year or so. You know, I I began to really improve myself as a man and mm -hmm. individual, um, and, and then with that came the the rekindling of my flame, okay. the the confidence boost. Yeah. You know, yeah. the drive to. I used to be the kind of guy that would make a song, throw it on a social media platform, and be like, "I expect you to go somewhere." It right. took me so Without long. Without doing anything else. And you know, it's like, dude, I used to think it was all just making music and then 10% maybe promotion. It's like, dude, you got to put in more work promoting and learning the knowledge of the game Yo, you than making the music. You can't just buy the car. And put gas in it and expect it to do what it's supposed I to do. Was I thought it was going to drive. I thought I was in a Tesla or something, <laughs> self-driving or something, man. Here I was, and I spent all these years just, yeah. just being complacent, just not trying to figure out the game. Right. Now I've, I've gotten to a point where I've rediscovered myself yeah. Yeah. to where I'm like, you know what? I, I want to go learn this knowledge. Right. I want to go learn the game. I want to go put myself out there yeah. and do interviews. That's awesome. And feed off of people like you, bro, who's Blessings. very contagious with what you're doing right. and what you've achieved in such a short span, bro. Right. So uh, hats off to you, my oh, man, for man. doing what yeah. you're doing. That's fucking dope, man. I really appreciate it. So in the music, I love to ask this question because I'm curious. You know, here we motivate, but we also talk about the struggles as well. So what's been the hardest part about the, being in the music industry for you? Um, uh, I think the hardest part is me. You know what I mean? You know, because the, there's like people say you're your best critic. Sometimes you get in your own way. You, you know, and, and I've gotten in my own way for the longest part. And not just that, for the longest time, I was getting in my own way, mm. but thinking it was other things mm. that it, I didn't, I wasn't mm. recognizing that it was myself. Ooh. That was my own roadblock. Message! So instead, I was out here blaming others, mm. thinking that they need to get these roadblocks out of my way for me to keep continuing on my journey. Right. It was me right. that had created those roadblocks yeah. that needed to remove them myself. Mm. So mm -hmm. honestly, it's been me. It's been me myself. And so now when I say I've rediscovered myself, right. you know, I'm kind of fine-tuning myself and changing myself as a man mm -hmm. to enable myself to be able to work through these roadblocks Wow. Now. Wow. It's funny that you use those terms based off a few things in my day. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. But that's real. And I love that you uh, use that analogy, man, because that is so true. Like, yo, do not, don't, don't create your own storm. Yeah. And then after, then you have nerves to get in your, get you, you got a door to get to the shelter, but you're standing in front of it like, nah, go that way. Yep. After you created the storm, that's crazy. Stop getting in your own way, y'all. Stop getting in your own way, man. It's do like, what you got to do to stay out the way and just get to the back. You got to leave an open lane so that you can continue to push forward. And that's 100% that's true. Yeah. For sure. It, it for seems sure. like for years I was at the door mm -hmm. and I was just trying to pull mm -hmm. and I was never recognizing that the sign said push. Right. And it's like, oh, would mm -hmm. you look at that? Mm -hmm. If I just kind of pushed, oh, would you look at that? Now I'm in. Right. <laughs> 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 I like my guy right here for reals. So, with that being said, that I, what you told me you were um, you rediscovered yourself. So, I feel like that probably has a lot to do with um, finding yourself, self love. So, within you doing, I don't know what all you do on the side, but I know you do music, and that yes, takes a lot out of a person. It does. So, what are some things that you do to make sure that JT Hernandez is good? You know, uh, one thing that's big, you know, and, and I, I took me a while to really like to promote it and talk about it. Um, but one thing that really helped me begin to rediscover myself and kind of fine tune myself was I entered therapy last year. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I, and this is something funny. So I, I for years, I, I always thought two things. I thought, one, um, I can't control the way I think. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it's just my brain. My brain operates the way it is, okay. uh, where it does, and it's up to me to kind of deal with the after effect, if you will. Okay. Um, and at the same time, um, I also thought my best way of getting over issues and problems was literally to just bury it deep down and kind of just try and forget about it. Okay, okay. Uh, both of those were recipes for disaster, I come <laughs> to find, in the long run. So uh, <laughs> what I ended up finding going through therapy was... Um, a, I cannot, you know, keep all of my right. issues, motions, doubts, problems in. Mm -hmm. Instead, I need to try to project that out 
And, and that, doing that through a therapist has done wonders for my confidence okay. and my mental boost gotcha. because it was me that was doubting myself and putting myself down mm -hmm. and putting myself in these low places, creating these roadblocks, if yeah. you will. Yeah. And at the same time, I've also learned I can train the way that I think. Mm -hmm. I can change the way that I think. I used to always think every single day I go to work, I used to always think, I have to go to work today. Right. I have to go to work today. Now I'm... I get to go to work today. Right. I get to do this because there's so many people out there that don't have the opportunity to even work or even do what they love to do. So true. So, so true. So I'm like, you know what? By me fine-tuning my brain and just my, my mental aspect mm -hmm. of life, that has allowed me to kind of... You know, get out of when I do because I'm still human. I'm still fine. Right, it's going right. to take a it's a long journey. You know, I'm going to take a long time before I'm really a, a fixed man. But um, whenever I do dip down into like maybe a low kind of com like mm -hmm. uh, low, you know, low confidence yeah. kind of mood, I, I get out of it pretty quick now that I've gone through this fine tuning of therapy. Right. You know, it's little things for me that kind of help spark me you know right. when i kind of lose my confidence like i've kind of gone through on my instagram and i've you know gotten rid of a lot of the kind of nonsense that i yeah. used to look at yeah. and now it's all that's, david that's goggins yeah. and it's all tony robbins and it's all hey, these shout out to both boosters. of them yeah those are amazing people if really, you haven't looked really. them up yet gary v if you guys oh, man. if you guys <laughs> haven't looked any of them yeah. up yeah you know i like to feel like they're like my homies that are on the yeah. side whenever i'm down they're boosting <laughs> me real. back up with For my real. confidence yeah hell yeah man so that little things like that, it kind of yeah. keeps me going, keeps my fire lit. Yeah. And, you know, I've always felt like I've had a talent for music. Right, right. It was everything on the other side mm. that was so big for me. My yeah. work ethic, my laziness, my doubt, my anxiety, so on and so yeah. forth. So fine-tuning that through therapy... Uh, anyone out there? Don't be uh, don't be afraid to. It's reach not your out. enemy; it's your friend. Hey, straight up, dude. Straight up, he he is not wrong. Like you know what I'm saying? Hey, there's definitely it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, take a shot at it, and if you don't like it, then fuck. You don't like it. Yeah. Period. You don't like it, but don't be afraid to at least give it a try, because it might just change your life. Yep. Honestly. Now, bro, you're new to Vegas. You, I mean, four years, okay. You're still fairly new. I, About 10 more years, you know you're from here at that point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, the next big thing that I like to discuss is unity. This Next to self-love, it's probably the most important thing. I think they kind of go in order, you know? So how do you plan to bring unity within the, the new community, your brand, just, you know, your loved ones and all of that? I'm, I'm always curious to know. So uh, for me, you know, I, what I what I pride myself in as well is is you know as I'm advancing as a man, as mm -hmm. I've been touching on, you know, I'm advancing on what I'm rapping about and writing about. You right. know what I mean? So I, I I basically had a project recently that I've not put on the shelf, but kind of put on the back burner mm -hmm. because it it's a project that had a lot of my old writings, right. which were a lot more aggressive writings that okay. I just don't really like to do as much anymore. And right. now, like we had said earlier before we kind of started recording, I don't judge anybody off of what they rap about. You right. know, I love Brother Lynch Hung. You know Brother right. Lynch yeah, Hung from Sacktown? He raps about, you know, eating people. And it's like, <laughs> that ain't my forte, but you right. know what I mean? Like, hey, if that's what you do, my dude, you rap about that and you kill it on those bars. Enjoy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, but, but for me as a person, you know, I've just kind of shifted the what I kind of rap about and write about right. to be a little bit more about personable experiences mm -hmm. or my own experiences or trying to be more in a positive light if I can rather than like I used to do the like I'm better than you and I'm gonna end your rap right. career and I'm like right. no now I'm like let's let's all try to get a piece of the pie if we yeah. can you yeah, know what makes I mean? sense to me and that's what I think I, I how I can bring unity to you know f whether it's strangers my friends my family right it's that hey at the end of the day I want us all to sing kumbaya and just right. be happy people and be cool. successful Kumbaya, my lord, my lord. <laughs> kumbaya, you know what I'm I mean? Zooming, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want, look at that. Yeah, yo, be like my boy JT Hernandez, man, and figure out a way to always bring unity within your community, within your brand, within your personal space. Hey, sometimes keeping that circle small works. Yeah. But the un the un the the unification that's involved in it is amazing. You can do so much more. Their strength in numbers. Yeah. You can do so much more with a, a big team that all has the same vision, the same goal, and we're on the same path. Let's get to it. Let's stop the division. Yeah. Let's stop hurting each other. Let's stop breaking each other. Let's get to this fucking money. Period. Let's get to this success, this generational wealth. 
All this negative shit need to go out the window. And y'all know you can't come here with that shit because I ain't with that none of that at all. At all. Progression, man. Yes, sir. What's your vision, man? Where do you want to take this music career? What, what, when people say JT Hernandez, what the fuck are they going to be talking about? What's the legacy? Man, uh, it's going to be about, you know, now that I'm, I'm fine-tuning myself, it's going to be about changing lives. It's going to be it. about changing lives. You know, I used to be like, hey, I just want to write music that people can like. Hey, I like right, that song. Right. It was great. Now I want to be able to write music that people can relate to, that can mm -hmm. change their lives, that can touch on topics that, you know what, hey, I've gone through that, you know? And I had, I, I had a post, like, I think a couple weeks ago okay. where someone commented, uh, yo, hey, I've gone through that same exact thing. And it's mm -hmm. like, awesome. That's great. That means that person related to what I was talking about, right. you know? Because uh, we all, you know, even people that aren't musicians, they rely upon music right. for, you know, emotional, you know, stuff that they go through. Yeah. So um, my legacy, I hope, you know, will be cementing myself in the rap game as being able to change people's lives and maybe make their day just, hey, a little bit better. Right. Man, I super can feel that for sure. So as far as music right now, what do you have out that people can go check out. So as far as right now, right now, we are on the cusp. Now, I don't have too much. So okay. all of the year of 2021 mm -hmm. uh, did not release a single song, did not release anything. JT, what the hell, bro? Oh, man, don't, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. So here we go. Here's what happened. Um, as I started entering therapy, you okay. know, I just had a lot on my plate, my mm -hmm. friend. And so what I ended up realizing was I love music. But it, 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 I cannot be successful at this music mm -hmm. if I don't focus on me. Okay. So I had to. I had to make the decision to put the music on the back burner for about six or seven months of the year 2021. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't do anything. Right. Uh, and I just worked on myself prior to that. Okay. Um, Fair enough. Prior to that, when I wasn't in therapy... I was just a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the realest shit I heard all week. That's the realest shit all week. <laughs> so anyways, uh, you know, what's out right now, I'll be honest. It's a lot of older music. You know, you can check me out on your SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, YouTube, all of that if you look up JT Hernandez. But you're probably going to find stuff that might be a few years old. Uh, but what I am excited to talk about is that I just released my my newest song that is on Instagram and TikTok at the okay, moment. Okay, uh, okay. Just released about maybe I think about a month ago. Okay. And that's okay. going to be coming up on my upcoming mixtape, which is actually going to be releasing on the 21st of this month. That is. So lock it in, my friends. That's going to be coming in pretty soon. Very excited. I haven't released something in so, so long, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a project that I'm going to be uh, pretty excited to talk about, too, because it's kind of a unique project that I did. Okay. Okay. Um, but, but you guys can uh, hear the newest song called Let Me Go. Ah. which is going to be on uh, you know, YouTube, it's going to be on Instagram, and it's going to be on Facebook and TikTok at the moment. Going to be dropping just today, drop the promo for the next song from the mixtape. It dropped today? Yep, yep. Shit! It dropped it today, so you might want to Damn! Yeah, well, I guess... No, because they're going to see this yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not live. We're not live. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, make sure you check it out for sure. Yeah, that will be dropping on the 20th, the day before I drop the mixtape. Okay. That song will be called Anxiety. Ah. And talking about, hey, nonetheless, my anxiety Ooh. that I've gone through. I can only imagine. That's going to be super dope, man. Hey, man, thanks again for tapping in with your boy. Appreciate Finally that. coming and showing me some love. And before we go and get to that last question, I got to tell you this, man. First of all, I let everybody know this, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't ever stop because you never know who you're motivating. You never know who, who's finding what you're doing inspirational. And sometimes our friends are silently in, inspired. I appreciate that. I want to tell you. That's, that's but most importantly, inspire your damn self. Hell yeah, my man. You see what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Dude. Make I sure you inspire that, yourself, bro. And if you ever quit, I'm going to come find you. <laughs> because I know hella people. You think you know a lot of people. I know a whole lot of people. Y'all, hey, my friends out there, remember this face. And, and for my friends out there, if I fall off, give him my address. Yes, because I'm coming. <laughs> and I'm knocking on the door. And I'm kicking it down. Boom. JT, get your ass up. Hey, I brought a studio outside. Damn, they just drove off. <laughs> I know a studio down the street, and I got you. I'm going to pay for your session, and let's get back to it, man. Hell yeah. You, you, you know, and don't promise me, but promise it to yourself. I will. Most I importantly, prom I you promise feel me? that. Hell yeah. And last but not least, man, we got to motivate the people, man. So if you have one piece of advice to give to everybody in the world, what would that piece of advice be? Just be yourself.
Mm. Just be yourself. Mm. And that is not even trying to be cliche because I'm on his show right now. Uh, Best thing that I've ever learned. I grew up trying to please others, not trying to please myself. You have one life, my friends. Live your life, okay? Be yourself. Do what makes you happy. If nobody else likes that, who cares? At the end of the day, you are doing what you love and what makes you happy. Just be yourself like this man does right here. Oh, man. I love it, man. Well, we got to say it again because you already know what my pieces of advice is. And it go a little something like this. I need you to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate. Inspire one, two, inspire all. And last but not least, like my homeboy JT says, just be the best version of your goddamn self. Be comfortable doing that. Live in it. And then share the fucking process to others and help them fucking rediscover themselves, man. I love y'all, and we out. Go. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Chesby. Welcome to the Chesby world, where all we do is focus on positivity, being better than yesterday, and loving yourself. Here's the anthem. Let's get it. They love it.